hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I thought I would start off the week by making this beautiful little autumn sort of notebook it's really really pretty and it's very very simple to make I'm using my autumnal butterfly collection papers um, I've made like a little sort of topper um, and then I've added it onto like one of the little postcards that sort of comes in the kit and some beautiful butterflies and I've just made it into a sort of like a little folder notebook um, and I've got some beautiful seam binding on there which I coloured this morning so my hands are a little bit orange because I didn't wear gloves so if we just open it up it's got some note paper in there I've got a little side pocket in here a little tuck these are some bits of ephemera from typology um, so they will just pop into the pocket there and I think they work really well with the autumn colours I've got about 12 pages I think in there um, and I've got a few more bits of ephemera in the back from typology as well so I think it's really easy, really simple, a nice little simple one and this is, I've, it's sort of like a little cluster um, and I've got the autumnal butterflies on there so a little bit of lace and bits and pieces on there as well now on the back I've just popped a little it's, um, it's like a little holdy bit on there which will hold the, instead of gluing it down I thought it would be quite nice just to hold the piece of seam binding through there um, so I think it just gives it another little extra piece on the back um, so I love it so I'm just going to show you quickly well not sure how quick but I'm going to show you how I made it got some few bits and pieces ready so I'm going to pop that to the side now I did actually start making some little toppers this morning um, but I just didn't want to make those I wanted to actually use them and make them into something so these are really simple um, and I just think that it's really really lovely so I'm going to show you how to do that first now I'm going to pop that to the side I've got some bits and pieces here ready to do it and cut out so first of all we're going to use one of I've got these from the kit which are just the little journaling cards and I thought I would use this one because I'm going to use this on the top of it and I think that was what they, those two sort of like matching because they've got the same leaves on there so to make the topper first I'm just going to roughly cut this out just like this so I hope you have all had a wonderful weekend I had a lovely weekend the weather is beautiful here still a little bit windy um, but we did have a lovely barbecue with some friends come over so we were sat in the garden and it was absolutely beautiful weather so that was lovely so I'm just going to rough the edges up just a little bit just with the edge of my scissors like that and I'm also going to do it to this is just a piece of card that I've got um, but again you can use anything these are like little ones that I buy um, ready done and then I've just sort of like tea stained it or coffee stained it so let's just rough it up a bit like that scissors are quite big to do that with so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get my distress ink of course a little bit of that just add a little bit to here like that look at the state of my little doggers well worn get lots of use out of these so that's that one just ink around here so these are lovely I was going through my papers I should be doing my little journal or my lovely eclectic journal but I was going through some papers this morning and found my um, autumn paper so I thought oh have to have a quick play thought we could do a nice quick video today so I'm going to pop this on here like that just quite randomly and then I'm going to take a piece of book paper I'm going to just take a little section of it just rip this off like that and that's to make this sort of like scruffy bit around the outside so what I'm going to do I'm going to take my lovely piece of paper which I've got lots and lots of ink on which doesn't it look nice I'm going to just scrunch this up 
get a little bit more ink and just go over the top just like that so you can use up your little scrap pieces of book paper that you've got and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to sort of like fold it over but sort of I'll just scrunch it up and then sort of fold it over and I want to sort of like scrunch it and twist it at the same time and this I want to just stick in here just so it sort of like goes around the outside of your journal card not all of it but just a little bit of it like that just so it scrunches up like that doesn't have to be neat and tidy of course does it because it's all scrunchy now I'm going to get a little bit of my glue just oh I think I need to refill this again pop some glue on there and then we're just going to stick this in just like that just on the back and then we're gonna scrunch this around now I will be sewing this but again if you don't sew um, you could hand sew it you could do some nice big stitching on here actually which would look nice like the sort of like slow stitch um, so I'm just going to just a little bit more glue in here just to hold it down before I sew oops oh I really am running out of glue in here pop that on like that and just scrunch that down just like that because I've got all my lovely lovely butterflies and bits here which I've cut out and then we can just sort of like add like little butterflies to the corner so it just gives it a little bit of um, dimension to it because you know how much I like to have a little bit of dimension and things to work so that will stick down and then I'm going to stick this to here as well just so we've got this on the back like that I'm just going to stick it down now I've got a few bits and pieces here look as well let's put me butterflies out of the way we don't want these oh I made these little things as well and just little um little scraps of fabric which I thought would go with the autumny sort of colors don't they which are quite nice but first I'm going to get a bit of three in one and just stick the middle down not the outside bits because I want to sort of like pop in I'm going to just pop that just the middle so we can tuck things in underneath before we sew it like that like what have we got we've got a little bit of this let's just cut a piece of this down cut a little piece of that off so this let's scrunch that up i'm going to just put this under there a little piece underneath and then that will probably just stick on top just so it comes and bends around in there and tuck it around at the back like that and that sort of like whoopsie daisy wraps around which I think will look nice won't it I will stick one of these on afterwards I think once I've sewn it so that can go on like that and then maybe I will have another piece of this and a little bit of this stuff it's sort of a, a lace What's, I don't know what it is I'm not quite sure where I got it from I've had it for a very long time I think I might just pop this in here like that 
just turn that a little bit over it's just a little bit too long that can sit on there and have another piece of this scrunch this up a little bit Lovely. And what should we do with this? Should we pop that in there? Just pop that down there. I think I will just have a little bit of book paper down there as well. Just tuck that in, I think. So just sort of like collage it up collage it up a little bit, pop little bits and pieces and any little odd bits of sort of like autumn looking fabric and pop in there can't you, that's just this a piece of funny old um, ribbon oh my gosh, I should have checked my glue supply before I started, right I'm going to pop that just there like that I think and then, now I need this for the closure so I can't really use too much but I'm going to tie it in just a little knot like that I think, maybe maybe I'll pop it on top of here like that and then add some butterflies okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave it like that I'm going to go round with the sewing machine just around this sort of like little bit um, just to sew it on because this is what I did on this one I just went round with the sewing machine and then I added a few more butterflies onto this one as well so I'm going to just show you um, what it looks like when I will be back all right two seconds there we go perfect right let me just get rid of that because that's all grubby and horrible isn't it so that looks good doesn't it so i've just sewn around the outside like that so quite simple now when you're doing things like this there is no right or wrong way to do it um so just um because majority of people just sort of like make it up as they go along so whatever feels right just do what you think because there isn't a right or wrong way just sticking little bits and pieces on i think i'm going to just stick this onto there like that like that stick that down i'm going to stick on a few little butterflies look at that doesn't that just look so pretty pop that on there let me get my little wall to hold that on like that beautiful okay i think i need something up in this corner should we just have oh maybe we'll have we could have butterfly what was the other ones we've got butterfly wings that's what i shall put up there i think let's ink around here there we go pop a little something I think underneath it let's just take a little bit of this a little bit of this stick this on wrinkle this all up like that that's going to stick down and then this one can go on the top and that can just stick there so that is gorgeous so that will just sort of like stick up a little bit so it's all nice and dimensional Oops, if I don't pull this little butterfly off, stick you down. So I'm going to pop this to the side now. Now we've made our little topper. I could probably add just a little bit of 
ink to these little bits like that. So I think that's gorgeous. Okay, let's get all these bits and pieces out of the way and we will make the little um, notebook pop you up there. And I've got these pieces here. So this is what's going to be on the top and that is going to sit on top of it like that, which is lovely. These are for the closure. These are for the inside. Right. This is the cover. So this is just a piece of um, brown card. Just a piece of card. Now, let me measure it. Shall I measure this? It is, what's that? 11, just over 11 and a half inches by 29 and a half centimetres and then 10 centimetres by about four inches and then I've just folded that in half and then again I've got my big scissors and I've just done this around the edge of it just to grunge it up okay and then we're going to ink that and then I have got some um, coffee stain paper which I have just folded up just slightly smaller it than this now we've got about 12 pages in there as well so six sheets folded in half um, like that so that is your inside okay and then I've got one of these which is just the, like the little postcards that come in the autumn autumnal butterfly kit um, and what I'm going to do I'm going to do the same thing and just grunge round the edge so just um, distress it a little bit with some scissors and again if you've got a distressing tool you can use one of those um, but I still haven't found mine I do have two and they're so small that they've sort of like disappeared somewhere um, I need one of those I think you can get them with a handle which I really could do with but I always forget to order one so let's just grunge this up like that. Now I'm going to ink that in a minute but I want to put this on here because I just want to sort of um, say that's going to go there like that. I'm going to take just a little bit, grunge this. I'm going to take a little tiny bit out of there like that and then I'm going to um, roll that up and ink it in a minute because here you can see where I've done it here I've just got little scruffy bits on these bits and I just think it looks sort of like nice and grungy shall we just do a piece just take like a little V out like that I'm going to ink Let's take our nice dirty piece of paper again let's just ink around the edge like that I'm going to ink on oops just the back of this bit just where I've ripped it like that so that when you sort of like roll it back you've got the ink on the back of it like that and it's not white Let's just get in there with that little white bit though. So I just think that looks really nice when you sort of like roll them back a little bit. Let's go this way. Like that. There we go. Just grunge this up a little bit. So yes, distress it as much as you like or you don't have to distress it at all. Oh, I need to ink this as well. Let's just go around the outside of this. So this is some brown card actually I got in the local shop. Um, I think it's it's roughly the size of an A4, A4 sheet and I've just cut it in half. So that's what gave me the size. But again, you can do that whatever size you like if you wanted to make it square you can make it square but I just thought this would look quite nice it's almost sort of like a photo album -y 
style, isn't it? So let's just go around the edges. Oops, get these little bits out of the way. Okay, so that looks pretty grungy, doesn't it? Take that out. Move these pieces. Now, on this one, I've put like little um, corn, not corners, they're almost like um, spine holder things. And then this one on the back, just to hold the um, seam binding. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to open that up. I've got two pieces here. Now I've cut these one and a half by two inches. I'm not quite sure what that is in centimetres. I'm going to just go around the edges. Just round them off. And then I've got this piece which is two inches. That was two inches by three quarters of an inch or two centimetres by five centimetres. So that is two and a half centimetres by two centimetres. Okay. Just ink that up. Now again, it would be quite nice if these were sewn around because um, I think that would make it a little bit nicer. Oh, covered in glue today. Go. Okay, perfect. So, some glue. I'm just going to stick these on just with a little bit of tacky glue in here. on there I can just sort of like just eyeball it on there like that and then this one oops a little bit more there we are pop that there okay I'm gonna pop that one on in a minute I won't do that one yet I'll wait until I pop the seam binding on. Okay, so that's that one. I am going to gonna do this. See, that will go on there lovely like that. Doesn't that look nice? And then we've got our little topper to go on there. See, that's lovely. But the first thing I'm going to do is the inside. So let's just fold that little bit of ink all these little bits like this that you put on I think it just sort of adds something a little extra to it so if you're going to give these things off um, as gifts it just shows that you spent just that little bit longer doing some little bits to it okay the inside I am just doing using some of the backing paper from the kit and I'm just going to ink around this I should have done it before shouldn't I Let's use the paper and this one. I think this is quicker to do. Makes it look a little bit more grungy. Like this. So these are cut just a little bit um, smaller than the inside of your cover. Like that. Oops, wibbly wobbly. And then I've got two more pieces, which is two inches um, by whatever length that you're going to do it. So we should go around the outside of these. I hope I'm not wobbling the table. I think it's my camera is supposed to be balanced on my other table, but sometimes it sneaks itself forward if I wobble too much okay pop those out of the way those can go over here 
this is going to go it doesn't really matter it can go on this one can't it so that will be the front of the journal and this is going to be on the back so that's going to go that side so what I did I took a little bit of paper and just actually I'll have those two I think on here if you can see let me open it up take that little bit off I have just run a little bit of um, book paper down there I just add something nice to it as well actually I could probably add a little butterfly on there it would look quite nice wouldn't it yes so gosh get our little grubby piece of paper back ink this up And this piece. And I'm just going to stick them on. I'm going to sew it, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to stick it down too well. I'm going to just sew it. Or if you're not going to sew, make sure you do stick it down well. So that's going to go on that one. And then this one will go this side. Oops. Gosh, that piece of cotton keeps getting stuck to me. Oopsie daisy. So then that just sticks on there like that. And I'm going to just rip these little pieces off. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to go and sew around just down the edge of there because they're going to be on the little pockets. It just sort of like reinforces it, doesn't it? Where are we? I think I was going to put that one on there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of, I'm going to just sew around that one. And this one goes this way, like that. So I'm just going to sew those. And then I will just sew around the whole thing. Okay, so I will be back two seconds. Okay, so there we go. I have just sewn around these. I think they go this way round. So that looks good, doesn't it? Now I'm just going to quickly just ink just that little bit because I'm using some creamy cotton today because that's what's in the machine from doing my little eclectic journal and I haven't changed it. So I'm just going to darken those up a bit. So let's take our cover. I'm going to put this one on the front and this one on the back. Not that it really makes any difference. So let's take some, I'm just going to stick it down. No, gosh, what am I doing? I am skipping ahead. Let me put the lid on there. Now we have to pop in our little cover, our little journal first. And how we're going to do that, I've got the pages there. I've got a little bit of fabric. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to actually sew them in like that. I'm going to sew them to the piece of fabric. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to sew them on the machine. Just down through the middle to the fabric. So let me just clip these together like this. So they are straight. Pop that on there. I'm going to take this is just a little piece of cotton it's almost like um what's it called cheesecloth so i'm going to pop a little bit of glue just to hold it in place like this just down through the middle so it doesn't move so that is the middle like that okay and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the sewing machine, not to the back of that, just down through there. And then what I want to do, I want to stick these pieces into the book like that. So we don't have anything on the outside of the book. And then I'm going to stick those over the top like that. So I'm going to just pop to the machine and just sew down there. Okay, two secs okay so there we go i've just sewn that it's really off so i didn't do a very good job of that but it will give you an idea 
Now I am going to just chop these little bits off like this and this side. It's not the most best bit of sewing that I've done. So let's just chop these little pieces off. Tidy it up at the back because we are all lucky sided. Look at that, but that's okay. Let's see, let's fold this down. Mm, not the best bit, is it? It's a bit wonky, but that's all right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my three in one. I'm going to add a little bit of glue just to here. Fold that in. Make sure that's sort of in the middle. Make sure you're level on there. And I'm going to just fold that over just like that. So that's attached to there. Turn it over. And then a little bit of glue down there. Can you hear the lawn mowers again? Outside. Oops. that's stuck down and that's not stuck down because look I didn't do it very well did I so let's just stick that in there so when you sew it make sure you sew it a little bit neater than I did because I didn't do it very well but we're going to stick this now that's in there so you can see there look um, we've got the fabric in there holding in our little pages now I'm going to sew this so it, I'm not. I'm going to stick this over the top like that. So a little bit of glue. Like this. Put some glue on that right to the edge. Like that. Stick that on. Fold that down. And then we are going to do the same with this one. Like this. So that is our inside done. Lovely. Nice lot of glue. Let's turn it around this way. Put that in. Like that. Squash that down so we are all nice and flat. So that's our front pocket, and then that's our back. So that is lovely. Now we just need to stick the front piece on. But the first piece, right, I'm going to turn it round to the back because I want that is the front. Turn it round to the back, and I'm going to stick this little piece on here. So that's just going to sit there. So I'm going to use, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my tacky glue. Just pop a little bit of glue here. Like that and just stick that here. Just push it together just a little bit, just so you've got a tiny little gap underneath like that and hold that down. Can you see there? Oh, I'm going to sneeze. There we go. Oh dear. Okay, perfect. So that's the back piece. Now I have got a piece of seam binding here, which I colored. What did I color? Let me just show you. I used, I used gathered twigs and I used barn door. And I just sort of like mix them together. Then I just added a little bit more of the brown and the orange before I rubbed it together. Just so it's sort of like gone a little bit patchy. Um, which I think looks really, really lovely. So I'm going to straighten this out. I think this is probably the right length. Let's just measure it. So 
so they might even be a little bit too big but that's okay I'd rather have it too big than too small so let's just oh gosh oh, let's just stick that through there let's just pop that back down again see what happens when you don't leave it to dry but just pop it through this piece let's hold that down and we want to turn it over like this and I'm going to stick this piece to here before I put the front piece on so let's just see how much we need probably go a little bit shorter than that actually like that that's probably about right do you think that's about right that's about right we don't want it too dingly dangly down so let's cut this off here and I will measure that for you so that's about 30 centimeters so that's about 60 centimeters or about 24 inches this piece of seam binding will be so what I'm going to do, make sure that's level, I'm going to take a little bit of glue and just run it down like that. And then just stick that on, just to hold that down like that. Perfect. And then I'm going to take the cover piece and then stick that on. And that means that when you have the closure, it doesn't go over the top of your work. Um, so you're sort of like covering it up. It looks quite nice then, doesn't it? It fits sort of like hidden underneath. This one I did sew around it actually, just a little bit in certain little areas. Um, but I'm going to just leave the, this one like this. I might sort of like just grunge the end up, the sides up a little bit more, I think. Just bend them over like that. And then what I'm going to do, I will just ink that a little bit just to get those... Well, you don't want to see the white bits, do you? Pop that on there. Just like that. Perfect. Nice and grungy. Let's take some three in one. Just add this. Just around like this and again use whatever glue you're going to use but I'm just using this because it's quick just I would probably just use I think I used um, um, techie glue on the other one I'm going to just pop this on here Oops. just stick that down go my glue everywhere all over me okay I think that's pretty much stuck down okay I think that looks really nice doesn't it now we're going to get oh, let me get my glue off my fingers take our little topper and pop that on top doesn't that look lovely I think that looks really really nice so we'll use Again, a little bit of three in one. A little bit down here. Like that. Put this on the top there. I do like these. I think they're lovely. And again, you don't have to use autumn themed these would look beautiful with Christmas wouldn't they and Halloween coming up 
glue under there. Look at that. Lovely. Shall we pop another little butterfly? Look, I've got all these beautiful butterflies from the kit, which are gorgeous. Let's have a look. We've got little uh, smaller ones. Here's a smaller one. Let's just bend the little wings and have a little one here. I think. There we go. Just on this side. Like that. Just gorgeous, aren't they? There we are. So before I do it up, this is the inside like that and then you've got your pages and again you can embellish those pages if you want to but I just think these are nice little gifts um, for people as well um, just to pop into their handbag and then they can just write a little shopping list or something on there as well um, but I think they are lovely so let's just do this up like that we've got beautiful little um, autumn journal so I have two of these lovely journals now. Let's just do this one up. And they're a really nice size because they're not too thick. Um, so they will pop into a journal as well. So look at that. Don't they look absolutely gorgeous? Loving them. So there we go, guys. So I have used the autumnal butterfly kit with this one. Um, and I think it, they have come out lovely. So thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, please stay safe, take care, have a fantastic week and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye bye.